to, we're back to lead business this weekend. How much of a platform has last weekend given you to build on? Yeah, I think we were disappointed with the result. We were in a tie to win it, and um, we're disappointed we're out of the cup now, but in one positive we can take for it in terms of we can really concentrate on the league form. But I think there was still some positives to take from the game in terms of level of performance. Um, the energy the players put in, the effort uh, was clear. I think the, the supporters acknowledged that. I think the response was good from them. I think there was a synergy from the stands to the, the pitch, which is going to be so important to us going forward. You know, I feel as though that to improve our home record and to try and help us win a league, that we're going to have to have that connection. And I think if the players approach each and every game um, with how they set out on Saturday, um, the supporters will get behind that. And I felt as though um, we were disappointed. Um, we can still take some confidence from it. Never happy when you lose. Um, but it's the type of performance um, that I feel will win a lot more than we lose. And it's important that we try and replicate the performance. Um, uh, improved defensively on a couple of occasions where we allowed the United's goals in particular but get the result on the back of it when you put so much effort into something as the players did it's important you get the win on the back of it and that's got to be the intention Saturday In terms of players available how's Chris Stokes uh, after being forced off? Well he came off his groin tightened up felt like a kind of spasm type thing and uh, we got him he never really settled really the first 48 hours on assessment we got him scanned and thankfully the scan shows nothing too significant well we'll miss this Saturday and um, we're hopeful that he won't be out too long and maybe next Saturday might be achievable for him so we've got to be um, thankful for that it's nothing too serious um, Young and his Cameron um, played a closed door game here on Tuesday against Queen's Park um, it was part of a winning performance and he got 90 minutes along with a few other lads that have not played a lot of late and he picked up a little calf strain but nothing that's going to be too significant he's touch and go for the weekend but um, just I think just a kind of more uh, overuse thing rather than anything significant um, and Blair Alston who came off at the start of extra time Saturday he's trained fully today and uh, no issues so he should be good to go on Saturday as well so um, added to the squad fully training this week has been Jason Naismith um, He's been out a while, Jason, but great to have him on and, and around the boys. Um, you know, he's a big character for us and got plenty of experience and plenty of ability, so having him on the training pitch is, is a bonus. And young Brad Lyons, no, not that young, Brad Lyons, um, back full training as well, which has been great. The only one who's still causing us a wee concern that really that we were hopeful this, for this weekend would be wee Scott Robinson. Um, he's um, managed to do some training this week. He's not exactly pain-free at the minute, but... He's not ruled himself out for Saturday. You know, he's brave, Scotty, and he's keen to, to get involved. So we'll see how he responds to his work from today. Um, but I would say he would be uh, one that we'd have to assess before the weekend if he can get stripped or not. You managed to get Kyle after on the pitch last weekend off the bench. Another week's training helped his progress as well and integration into the team. Yeah, I think when you sign players in January, a lot of the time you get players, uh, players become available for a reason because they've not been playing a lot of the the current clubs, you know, I think you look at all we're signings really, it's Ash and Danny, um, Dylan um, and also um, Big Kyle so, but he's a, another one who's had a full week's work now and getting him on the pitch was, was good for him, he gets him integrated and involved again right away um, and you know, part of the reason we brought him back is he knows, he has got that familiarity with, with us um, he's a proven goal scorer in Scotland and we believe he can help us so hopefully as I say like him and everybody else the more they get used to training the more game time they get the stronger they become We've seen a rule change this week that will allow you to use five substitutes in the league how welcome is that and, and will that influence what you do in terms of the squad with the, the window closing next week? I don't think it will influence it it is welcome as you say I think it makes it gives you more flexibility um, on those 90 minutes could have done it last Saturday when we went into extra time. That fifth sub would have been crucial for us, I think, because the players were running on empty. They'd put so much into it, and both Dylan and Blair were needing to come off, and Dylan had to stay on manfully. So, um, But certainly for us, over 90 minutes, it does give us more options. I mean, I, I don't think you'll need to use five every week, but you know, having the option to do it, I think it's the right thing. So, welcomed uh, news. Um, we'd voted for that a couple of weeks ago when we first came in. Um, and it's took a wee time to get the, that kind of ratified, but thankfully we're, um, that is the case now.